Hello, my name is Abe, welcome back to Exit the Gungeon as... Beep, beep, beep. I am Steambot. Steambot, wow, his... His mouth is his entire head. <laughs> I don't quite understand that, but we're gonna equip the donut and we're gonna be a donut Steambot. Why? I don't know. I, I look at him and I kinda... For some reason, I think of a crudely drawn Homer Simpson, mmm, donut. Let's do a run here. Let's complete our, our Gungeon experience as... Robot and our Steambot. I don't know, maybe we could, uh... Maybe this is a Futurama character. I am Steambot. Kill all bullets. Kill all bullets. You got Bender saying, no, kill all humans with bullets. Kill all bullet humans. Hello, you're you're alive. You're you're a ghost. Um, so what do we have to do? Oh. In exit the dungeon. Still, we gotta find Winchester's game. We gotta ace his game one more time. We gotta twenty Daisuke. We gotta get one more NPC unlocked via the rat keys. We need to get all of the hats and skin outfits unlocked, which means we need a lot more hegemony credits for that to happen. What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think, and I'm like, hmm. What else do we need to do? Oh, just HP. I don't know. I have a question, okay? My question, oh, my question is, if you stall long enough in a room, can you get infinite drops? And I at right, let God is something else we gotta do. Thank you. Um, I asked that because I'm wondering, if we're playing the robot, is the ideal to just stall forever? and try to get all those armor drops for free. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the best way to kill these guys is probably to walk up to them and then just shoot the gun. So there we go. You just wanted to kill yourself. Excuse me. Walk into my gun, please. Thank you. You know what? We get the HP from the pink Guanstone, so I'm not too sad to see it. Guanstones are kind of nice. Sometimes they help me out more than I would expect. Because I am silly and get hit. Like some sort of a noob. Dude, Gunslinger's Ashes? That's a good gun. And you want to know why I say it's a good gun? Because in uh, Enter the Gungeon, the, the the gunslingers, they last for like three seconds. These ones last for like at least ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, eight, nine seconds, something like that. That's pretty good for a gunslinger. Ooh, we're gonna get free rain. Um, meow it, sir. Interesting. Meow. I don't know how this is gonna work, but uh, I'll deal with it. Meowitzer is probably gonna do some rushing attacks, but they may be easier to dodge because I don't have to worry about actually Lord. I don't have to worry about finding myself in a good position where I can make a new, a new dodge happen. No, Lord! I should have kept that gun. Now, to be fair, it's also tricky because we don't have our jump. But we made it work. Got the flawless. No, I don't want to... I wanted to fly. I want to fly. We get bouncing bullets. Dude, I love bouncing bullets. Gotta say. For Art, you just now noticed that the dice combo fills up. It does kind of glows from the bottom leading up to the top. When it hits the top, that's when you get your combo. Combo! I will take Gilded Bullets. Nice. Okay. Now, this is the arena that scares me. I hate that one rocket is not enough to kill one of those skulls, because they get... they get harder. Excuse me. 
It's like I had to had to try to find a way to kill that that enemy. <laughs> I love that they bounce around. Well, it worked! I don't know how I killed it. I may have turned it into an animal? Maybe I just didn't... I, I had double vision. Double vision uh, Casey shots. Wow. Got lucky there. Can't see, just shoot. With revolt, with uh, bouncing shots, get those bullets on the screen. It would be better if it was the SAA, because they would home in, but... Yeah. I don't know if all guns have homing, or, or like, homing on bounce shots, or if it's just charge shot and SAA, or if it's any gun that has a innate bounce to it, I don't know. Dude, gun drama to strain? That's exquisite. Better than flight. Absolutely. Well, I don't know. Maybe not on this this room arena. In general, I, I think I would rather have anything that just makes it easier to kill enemies. Question. Does this help on boss fights? Because in Enter the Gungeon, it does help on boss fights to ki kill them faster. If it also helps here in uh, Exit the Gungeon, you know, that makes it top tier. Homing? Woo, magic shots! <laughs> I love magic shots. Right. What boss are we fighting? This is gonna suck. I really... I don't fully know how I'm going to dodge this. Carefully is how I'm going to dodge this, but I, I am extremely scared of this fight. Staying up top has been working, though, so I'm going to keep staying up top. Believe it or not. Hey, this coin crown. Uh, if there was coinage to be found on boss fights, I might take it. Considering there's no coinage to be found on boss fights, I feel it's, it's wholly inappropriate to, to focus on that power-up. I completely accidentally picked it up. That feels appropriate. Bad place to be, but still have one blank remaining. Ken of Balrog is dead. Nice. We get a Mega Bullet. We get another Flawless. Very good. Check the description, question mark. Check the description of what? For a Dacula. 132 for Disarming Personality. How much of a discount is this? Because honestly, I kind of don't want to buy it. If it's not a big discount, then it's 132 credits I could spend on something else. That item still give you a mini blank. True, however, it would still be a attention I would have to spend on picking up the item when I could just be focusing on dodging. You know, if you have the dog, you know, let the dog pick it up, whatever. But if I've got to do some dodging, you know, focus on the dodging, I think. Oh! This guy is technically flying. Scary. Do I have a mega? I feel like I had Omega, because that was doing a lot of damage. I think I have heavy boots. I do have heavy boots. So, you know what? There you go. <laughs> we do have a 20 combo. Oh, oh. No! Daisuke! Where are you? You show up for three runs on a row on like the first damn floor, and now you don't show up at all. You piece of trash. You, 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 you fool. 
I will give you the greatest combo you have ever seen. Instead, you give me nothing. Why is why did the money come to me? Was it because I was like in the air or something? Gun drama to see if it affects bosses. Um, it, it won't tell you because in Enter the Gungeon it says all enemies weaker. The Brimsley is now unlocked. See how Tori to equip. Turnbot is now unlocked. Oh god. Rogue. Jailbird. Knight. Beastmaster. Rabbit. Apple. The Donut. The Adventure. The Void Core. The Old Blood. The Steam Bot. Old Red. There we go. Just says enemy health. You know, all enemies weaker, enemy health down. But in Enter the Gungeon, it does affect bosses, which is very nice. Hello. Ha! These guys are flying very quickly to the left, which makes me think that they are kind of being affected by the motion of the level or the train. But then this guy is just kind of bouncing up and down, and this guy is not even moving at all, so I don't know. This guy's flying, so I can't really like knock him out of the uh, out of the air onto the track or anything, which I would love to do. Later. Later. Ooh, we're gonna do this on this arena. It's Low Priest again. We fought him recently, but we had we had more like motion available to us. This is definitely gonna be trickier. Absolutely. But we are doing an absurd amount of damage. And I did get hit, I think. Yeah, I, de I definitely got hit. I got hit again, because I was not paying attention to where the bullets were lining up properly. Yeah. Having a blank remaining. Should have probably probably been able to do this without getting hit, but still. You know, the only thing we can hope for is that Daisuke um, dies. <laughs> Basically, we need him to die, Suke. Uh, because if I um, see him on this run, I will kill him. We're not going to see him on this floor, at least. Thank God for that. Whew! White forehead. What did I pick up? Flak bullets. Flak bullets is gonna make this a little weird. But flak bullets plus bouncing bullets is such a great combination because every bounce also gives you more flak bullets. Now I don't know if the flak bullets home in themselves, but... You know, whatever. Let me just shoot wildly with the scrambler and kill everything instantly. <laughs> Alright, next room. Pretty easy so far. Got him. No! No! I thought I landed on the platform, so I pressed E. Well, there goes that item. Shit. I, I thought I landed on that upper platform, so I pressed E, but I didn't land on the upper platform. I fell down through it. So, there goes our item. Achievement unlocked. You've passed an item on the Gungeon. You don't need no items. Don't lull me in chat. It's rude. Oh no, I lost my good gun. I needed that to live! Get me out of here. Let's fight the boss. I will always lull you. Jerk. So we're falling, so it could be Gungamesh Wallmonger. 
I always I always think it's gonna be Wallmonger or Gungamish. I never remember that this guy is even a boss. Even though he is clearly a boss. Hate the coins. I forgot about this attack, honestly. Oh! Got a little lucky. I got a poison jukebox. What's up with that? What do you do? More coins? Coins have gone. This run suddenly got a whole lot more interesting. Oh yes. Save our money. Don't buy any HP. No point no point in buying any HP. Not on this run. Not on this run. Where we will loop after we kill the dragon. Maybe. Yo, this free armor. I'll take it. <laughs> well, I'll take it when I actually have a free moment to grab it. Got it. For some reason, I was expecting it to blank. I'm like, it'll blank, right? No. No, it won't. This'll blank. Irradiated lead? One thing I do like about those pickups is that every single shot's irradiated lead. Does clone activate when you beat the dragon or just when you die? I think it's just when you die. I've never tested that though. I, I'm, I find it too risky of an idea to test. Oh, I got hit! I didn't see the shots coming in until just the last moment and then I got hit like three more times from this guy who I didn't see. Dude, I'm hitting these enemies with a lot of bouncing bullets. You would think that they would get frozen by now. Also, there's a lot of enemies in this room. Good lord. At least we'll get one more item. Yo, Galactic Medal of Valor is real good. So I, I, I kind of want to try something. I want to try to flawless the dragon and then die. Because you have some time after the dragon fight where you might be able to kill yourself. And I want to give it a shot. I want to see if it works. You know, we're going to have to test this at some point. Why not test it now? Please land the shots. Thank you. Nothing can withstand the power of the Gungeonia. Of the Steam Bot. Well, now that I have a slow rate of fire weapon, you can definitely survive the power of the Steam Bot. Okay. What about last time, huh? So again, I, I did make the mistake of not hurting myself enough times um, fighting the dragon. Shit. So, you know, I might not actually try to fight to win against the dragon. I might just kill myself immediately. Because it, if I hurt myself now, I might not flawless the dragon because I have to hurt myself before the dragon fight starts, which I can't do because I have too much HP because I didn't throw myself off to that edge. So I, I messed it up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean quite a lot. Like, how many times can I throw myself off the ledge before the fight starts? Can I do it, like, six times? Mmm. No. Alright, goodbye. 
See you next life! I'm actually like accidentally killing the dragon. I'm not accidentally killing the dragon, I am shooting my gun. <laughs> So long, Shoshana! Right, we got four blanks, six HP. Aw, oh, what? You don't get extra hearts from your your flawlesses. That's okay. We do have, well, I was gonna say we started with a combo of five. No, we got that combo super quickly. You get your combo charged extremely fast. But we have better items, more blanks than last time. Uh, uh, weaker enemies thanks to Condromeda Strain. You know what? Hold up. Question. Is Gondromeda Strain bad from a combo perspective? Because if you do damage based, if your combo is based off of the damage you deal, maybe Gondromeda Strain means you have less combo potential because enemies have less health. Now we meet Daisuke, hopefully. Not now. Only after we hit 20. I refuse to meet him any earlier than 20. Dude. We're doing a lot of damage. Now, don't forget the chests either. Chests are good. Bum bullets, very good. 10 combo, fantastic. Keep it going, keep it moving, keep it going. Keep those flak shots flacking. Keep those bees flying. We don't use any uh, unnecessary insect killers here. No, no, no. All natural. What gun is this? I'm like, what is this? It's not shooting. It's the Casey. Jesus. Elephant gun. Give me Balloon Gun, this is the time for it. Do it, you coward. You won't. Who's it gonna be? Meowzer. One more time. Having full reign. Weird. But definitely doable. Certainly makes some of the dodging much simpler. You're already half dead. Not like the blank would have helped. <laughs> Whatever, we have four blanks. We should just use them. Well, no, because we want to keep our combo going and we can't charge it if we keep popping blanks. But still, decent. We get the wingman. Thunk, thunk. Axe is a guanstone, love it. Super Space Turtle, the real hero. Of that run, for sure. I was kind of hoping for a rat. No rats. Yo, you know what, buy the junk. By the banana jam, two decent items. We will absolutely get 60 credits by the time we hit the intermission. We want that in case we get our gunman friend. You know what would be great? If when you buy banana jam hands, you start with the banana gun. It makes total sense. Now, one thing that I worry about is, of course, this very elevator room. It's a scary elevator room. I'm worried. I'm worried about losing my, my combo before I get junkin' off the ground. Before I find my Dezuke friend. He's a friend until I, d I don't see him, then he's my friend of me. So this is the SAA. All the bouncing shots are going to home in for a second. Dude, my, my original impression of Banana Jam Hands when I first played the Cultist was, oh, this is gimmicky. No, it's actually really good because you don't get bad guns for a long time. You sometimes throw your gun. Is it a good or bad thing? I think I think Banana Jam Hands is a good item because you you... Bad guns, you only get them for a second. 
like 10 seconds max. And more, most of the time for just a couple of seconds. It adds chaos, but if you're just holding down the fire button, that that works, you know? You just, you get a couple of shots, you get a new gun, if you get the claw, you only get it for 10 seconds or, or less. It's like a protective measure, is kind of what I, what I think about it. Well, admittedly, flying disc isn't that good, but again, we only got it for a second. Now, four blanks, Cannonball Rog? No, we're gonna break the elevator, thank you. So it could be um, Buffalo, Gunman, uh, Bullet, Buffalo. Dude, second floor Buffalo is like ideal. Easy peasy fight. Are you seeing what's happening? I didn't see it. He threw a milk bottle at me. What? You dick. You dick. There's so much stuff going on the screen. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Oh, my Hubert's got the better of me. Not buff man. Please not buff man. We could all have also gotten frost bullets. It would really help for flying enemies, but you know what? Slower enemy bullets, why not? <laughs> a disposable. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh. I was wondering what the hell was going on. I thought I was breaking all of his bullets though with the explosions. Nope, he was firing white transparent milk bottles that I couldn't see. Oh, I feel, I feel dirty. Oh, I, uh, I feel like I have, I have made a, a horrible mistake. I will never unlive that now. It's a permanent stain. In Dark Souls, if you if you die to pinwheel, that's a stain. In uh, and exit the dungeon, if you get hit on the buff fight, that's a stain. Hey Dino Caden, thank you for the five bit cheer. Well done, Mr. Clancy. I don't deserve it. A milk stain. <laughs> I have been stained with the white stuff. Yes. Vulcan Cannon. Oh lord. I hate when they, when they uh, are going to spawn into you, they move, and then you move directly where that, that spawn marker was going, because then you're like, oh god, what the hell? This shouldn't happen. This shouldn't happen to me. I'm too I'm too important. Also, I got to say, Frankenstein, great name. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Bolt Python. It's been a while. You are already like a quarter dead. Touched you. I kind of forgot to uh, actually do an attack there, and I forgot to uh, actually move. Should have flawless bolt python too. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! What, what's our flawless situation look like? We got one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, four. We need to get two more. Oh no! We gotta get two more for lead god. I don't even know if I've gotten lead god. Uh, on the previous clone run. I don't know if we've picked up five. Oh, oh no, homing bullets. Can't afford it. What if you die on pinwheel new game plus five? I'll be honest, I've never played new game plus one in, uh, in Dark Souls.
If Bello get his duels, not yet because um, I can't get him on Winchester's game. It it's not working. I'm not doing it properly or something. I need to find. Oh, oh God! I need to find Winchester's game again. Can you get a clone on a clone run? I got. I don't think so. But I wouldn't know. Oh! He spawned and covered two aisles worth. He spawned below me, but he was so tall, he still hit me. God, I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate them all. I hate them all. I hate them all. I hate them all. At least we're not going to get Daisuke here. But I do need the Flawless, the next two bosses, which means fourth floor and fifth floor, aka Dragon. They're gonna be flawless. You know what? I, I just realized something. The spawning icon, when it goes really big, that means they're not gonna move away. That means that spawn is gonna happen and you gotta move. I only realized that right now. But I, I was curious about it, because I've seen that before. And I, I I just never put two and two together that it's not actually gonna move. I wonder who we're gonna have. Internet problems have been resolved. Let's fight the boss. Sepulcher Geist. Let's uh, avoid the damn key coins. I still have three blanks remaining. Try to get the wonderful flawless that we all need to live. There we go. Easy peasy. Got one more flawless under our belts. Now, let me check how many we have. One, two, four. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't count additional flawlesses. So even though we got the fourth flawless twice, dude, that ex in order to get lead god, you have to get every flawless once. So you know what? We're definitely not gonna get it here on this run, huh? It's, it's still good to know that that's how it works. You know, we can kind of plan out a little bit on, uh, on the next clone run. On the next run that is cloned, we'll know. We'll know that we have to get the flawless for every boss once. Ideally, we could we could just get all the flawlesses in one go, but yeah, it, it absolutely looks like you can't you can't dupe the flawlesses. What you could do in Enter the Gungeon to get your lead god, if you got flawlesses one one two two three, you would get it. Makes it a lot harder, but clone is still probably your best bet. Okay. Sad, but at least we now know. I mean, at the very least, I guess we're still gonna have a good run. Unfortunately, no gun game, no 20 combo. But it happens, this stuff happens. It gives us more of an opportunity to keep playing Gungeon, though, and that's always a good thing. Dude, are there mimics in this game? I've never seen a mimic chest, but I think it would be cool if they existed, but it, honestly, I'm not gonna cry foul if there's no mimics in this game. <laughs> bleh, bleh. Dude! Bouncing flak shots, or actually, I don't think it's bouncing, but I think it's just flak shot. Flak shot wood beam looked amazing. You know what I like about the um, series cannon? If it hits the bottom or top of the screen, it still bounces. I love that. It's so nice. So we have a 17 combo, slowly, slowly making our way up to 20. 
I certainly hope we can get to 20. I would like to get a max level junk man. He's a junk man! And he's kicking the crap out of the dragon. Abe, you got some crazy wood. <laughs> I got the craziest wood. Uh, hello, serious cannon. Um, what are you doing up there? Excuse me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dude, I love it. This it's still going. Did I glitch out the game? Do I have a free serious cannon shot? Hello. I think it's going to be there forever. It's still going. Oh no, it disappeared. Damn it. Okay, level 18 junk man. Acceptable. Gotta not use any blanks, unfortunately, because if we use a blank, we will 19. If we use a blank, we will lower our combo rating. There we go. Max level junk man. Right at the end. Yeah! Look at him, he's a god. I will kill for you, Gungeoneer. Thank you, Junk Man. Thank you. Yo, why am I all shiny? Oh, potion of lead skin, of course. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? I'm all shiny. I look like Junk Man. No, 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 unfortunately not. See you later, Junk Man. Junk Man has ascended. You like this? You want a donut? Buckle up, we're getting out of here. You think there might be a uh, a secret in... I know I keep talking about secrets, but you think there might be a secret in the game if you if you approach each Gungeoneer as a particular character with a particular skin and hat on, they'll be like, wow, you're a steampunk robot with a donut hat. How unusual. Here, let me unlock the steampunk donut gun for you. Oh, thanks, pilot. You know how much I like sweets. And you... You're pretty sweet looking. I don't know why, but when I when I look at this ship exit screen, the two female characters kind of weird me out. And I don't know. What, I think it's I think it's because it's like a it's just a face in a sea of gray. At least the pilot has the outline of a head and an ear, and you can see his hair. He's, you can see his chin, but the uh, the convict and the hunter. They're just like a, a feminine face in a sea of gray. It's like body horror-esque, you know what I mean? You know, the Marine, he's got the helmet on, the robot's got a square on, the dog, you know, it's a cute little dog. You know what to expect. But the Hunter and the Convict, ugh. Something about it rubs me the wrong way. Three, four minute long run. Was that with the clone? That must be with the clone, and excluding all that pause time when I was waiting for my internet to come back. <laughs> Either way, good run. We have... We have 100... 198? We have 100... We have 198. You know... I can't. I, I gotta get... I gotta wait for the cultist. That's not enough. That's not enough. I need to wait for the cultist. That's not enough money, game. Oh, well. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter, Exit the Gungeon. Enter, enter the stream and video to exit the Gungeon. There you go.